Today's October 19th and I finally got my books on New Comic Day. That hasn't happened in a while, so I'm gonna show you these, that's coming up. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jesse here. You are watching JLS Comics and I have a new comic haul for you that is actually on New Comic Wednesday. That hasn't happened in a while, so um, if, consider yourself lucky. This is your first time stopping by. It doesn't happen too often, to be perfectly honest. I usually do a couple weeks at a time, kind of all together, so. Um, I'll show you what I got here. Just a couple books, really. So, um, this here is Harley Quinn, um, Undercover Punker. It's issue number six. And I like this, um, pop art style cover here. I think it's pretty cool. Um, see, it's a pretty striking image, right? Um, the story itself, it's a pretty light story. You know, it's just kind of, um, I'll show you a little bit of the art. It's typical art. And just plain old fun kookiness. Alright. So I got that. Um, Harley Quinn number six. That's the regular cover by the way. Uh, the next one I got is Deadpool Back in Black. This is issue number two. And this is of course an homage cover to uh, well, Amazing Fantasy 15, um, Amazing Spider-Man 252. and They've done this a few times but there you go. You get the power pack and a, a crazy clown. Alright. So that is uh, Back in Black. Issue number two, Colin Bunn writing that. Uh, we are already up to issue nine for Batman. And I am a little bit behind um, on this, so I'm not gonna be able to read this until I catch up on those. Uh, I just saw a comment pop up uh, from somebody and they said that this is very uh, Tank Girl-esque. And uh, as soon as I, I saw that, I'm like, yeah, that, that is right. That does look a lot like a you know Tank Girl sort of thing, so. Um, there you go. All right, next up we have Spider-Man, or Superman. <laughs> this is issue number nine, and this is Escape from Dinosaur Island. I noticed the Rebirth banner is getting smaller and smaller. I think they're just sort of like slowly phasing it out. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't show you the art in this book. So this is uh, Colin Bunn writing and Salva Espin on art. Okay, so right away you open up and then you got the, the suit there, okay. I'm trying to find a good page for you guys. Eh, that's fine. It's very cartoony. I'm not familiar with Salva Espen, but um, definitely very cartoony. All right, so this story, I've been definitely liking uh, Superman so far. I like the dynamic. It's very action-oriented, as you can see here. Um, but at the same time, it's very heavy um, into um, the family, Superman's family and Superboy and Lois and stuff. So um, I like it. Um, this is pretty crazy here. A lot of monsters on the cover. I think they're getting a little bit ahead of Marvel there with uh, putting some uh, universe monsters out. Maybe that's their strategy. Before Mar Monsters Unleashed comes out, they're doing their own DC Monster Unleashed of sorts. Next we have, uh, I believe this is a one shot, this is called Deadpool Too Soon. So then you got um, Rocket, Groot, um, Spider-Ham, you got Ant-Man down there, um, what's his face, HTD right there, and uh, Squirrel Girl in that. And uh, I don't know what it is about. Uh, but you get Joshua Corrin on art and Todd Knock or writing and Todd Knock on art. Um, and right away I see um, his wife and there's some artwork for you. Alright. Show you another page. Okay. And again, I don't really know what this is about, but there you go. It's a four ninety nine book too, so that's kinda risky for not knowing what it's about and buying a book. Um, this is an homage cover. Um, it's Death of X number two. This is a variant. Um, I did pick up for issue number one the one with uh, magic on the cover and is a connecting set. Um, I didn't really want the whole set. I just wanted that particular cover. Um, and then when I saw this, I definitely like this because I do like these. It's an homage to uh, Michelangelo's Pieta cover and it's been done a ton of times. Uh, the two most famous ones would be the X-Men cover and then of course the Death of Supergirl um, as well with Superman holding her. So that's what it uh, is an homage to. Um, ultimately, it was the Michelangelo piece. All right. 
Next we have, uh, and this is probably going to be my last issue of this book. Um, it's Amazing Spider-Man number 20. Okay, this is a clone conspiracy tie-in. Uh, of course, you get Doc Ock. And I mentioned it in my monster haul. That's something that they do a lot with Spider-Man is like a spider and then like the arms coming out. And But usually what they would do, like the bronze books or whatever, would have a little separate image in each of these. But, you know, here they didn't. So, like I said, this is probably going to be my last issue. Um, it's dragged on quite a while. And I'm just ready for Spider-Man to just get back to his normal Spidey self. Not this global stuff. I don't know, I just feel like it's been dragged on too long and I'm just done. When it changes, I may pick it up again. All right, and then last but not least is an Amy Chu book from Dynamite. This is the first issue. Um, and this is looking pretty cool. <laughs> I gotta show you guys that page. Uh, okay, so this is Kiss, number one. This is the demon emoji. That is a really cool cover. So I, I saw it in, in the previews and the solicits and I said, I gotta get that when it comes out. I didn't realize it came out today. There's also actually a, uh, what they call a virgin cover for this, which just means that the, the dressing here and everything is gone. It's just this image here. Um, but this is obviously not that particular thing. And uh, some of the art in here looks, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Typical sort of like house style artwork, um, which is good. Um, and you get some cool, you know, images like that. That gives you an idea of the artwork, right? And then there was one page I actually wanted to show you guys, which looked pretty cool. If I can find it, I shall show it to you. If not, you're out of luck and you'll have to go buy the book yourselves. Oh, it's I guess it's kind of like one of the last pages. Oh yeah, it's in the art stuff. Anyways, this looks pretty cool. And then it's probably gonna continue on to, nope, ads ads um but there are a lot of covers <laughs> to this book it goes all the way down to cover r nope cover w so it does most of the alphabet so um yeah that tells you there's a lot of covers see and here's the one that i got just so you don't think i was lying there you go demon emoji cover all right, so that's what I got, just a few books. Um, if you like these, um, you know, definitely um, let me know which ones you like the best um, down below. Uh, if I missed any, if there's something I got to go back and get, just let me know that too. Um, if I kind of wasted my money on any of these. Uh, I know I bought a couple that I didn't really know much about, especially that $5 book. Um, you know, definitely I can talk about that. If you want to see a review of one, something more in depth, uh, also let me know. Um, and if this is your first time stopping by, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I got a ton of stuff coming up. In fact, I got a really good uh, back issue haul coming up soon. So I look forward to sharing that with you guys. I got some really cool books in there. Um, and then um, hopefully you guys checked out uh, Comic Conversation, which is my, my live show that I do every Tuesday night at 7.30. Um, we kicked that off uh, for the fall season yesterday. Um, we got some good stuff coming up next week too, so you don't want to miss that as well. Um, but um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff that we all always say. Um, and um, I will see you guys soon. This is Jesse, and I'm out. Well, I'll turn.